Hello there guys, welcome to episode 3. Um, we're going to continue with this Juventus gameplay, I've had a bit of a break from it. Um, and we are going to play the next game against Lecce, I think that's how you say it anyway. Uh, away, so pretty much I've had a little change of the team. Uh, I've had to put Trezeguet in instead of Salas because Salas is just too tired. It's not the best of starts there. Um, and I'm kind of hoping to see um, a bit of progression um, with the wing backs. I'm hoping Churam and Atherson... Uh, will actually push on a bit this time. Um, I think that was his fault, actually, Atherson, that first goal there. But it's always tricky as well when you're away from home. I mean, the comments in the videos have been really good as well. Um, people saying that it's a really good challenge to have a go at. And I do actually agree. I think this this is really good. Um, so we just have to see how we go, really. I might put Zioni on, actually. Um I kind of feel like I want to put Salah. I don't know if Trezeguet is doing it, to be honest. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I know that we've got a Champions League game. I think it's Leverkusen next away, which always you know, jumps out of me as, as being one of the main prizes, the Champions League, when you Juventus. And we're not getting anything, are we? No, so that's a defeat. Um... Yeah, a bit rubbish. Oh, three weeks. That's a nightmare as well, that, because he is actually a really important player, Zambrotta. Um, I have put in a few bids for um, for a few people. I've put in a bid for Maxime, um, for Maxime Tiscalgo as well, because I don't know if you heard the news that he actually passed away recently. Um, so I'm just going to buy him um, just as a little, a little thank you for the memories <laughs> and all the future memories. That's the good thing about this game is you can always continue to play with him. Um, so it's just decided now. I think I'm probably going to put Conte in there, you know. Conte is a class player. See, Trezeguet is 77, Del Piero is 80. They are both completely knackered. So they're just going to have to... Trezeguet, Del Piero, yeah. So it's going to have to be those two up front. I've got Fabian O'Neill. I do actually feel like I need... Well, saying that, Nedved is, is actually... Um, yeah, Nedved is actually uh, injured at the moment, so he'd come in normally in an ideal world. Um, I think we've just got to win these home games in the Champions League group stages, though, to to secure our way through. That's a good start. Amoruso, I didn't see... I don't know with Amoruso. Hot and cold. Roma, Christ. I mean, that would be a massive game in itself. I think those home games are just so important especially when you're against one of the top teams that could actually win this league. I think Roma are the best team, one of the best teams, should I say, on the game. I think you've obviously got United that just dominate the English league. You've got Leeds with the money, obviously you've got Real Madrid, Barcelona, they're always going to be there. I actually don't think they have that good of a squad, Real Madrid or Barcelona. I might have to start thinking about changing a few people here with... Um, with the Roma game in mind. I'm not going to bring the strikers on. I'm going to leave those two strikers on, even though they're really tired. I'm hoping Trezeguet and Del Piero will come back and do something for us. Um, I'll take Conte off. Passato, yeah, he could come on, actually. Who do you take off, though? No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it just at that at the minute. Right, then... Let's take, let's bring him on now. I'm going to take Davids off. He's playing a 9, which is really good. Okay, right, big win that. That was a good win. Right, Nedved is out for a week. He's not going to be back for the Roma game, which is devastating. Depot oh my god, 20 million? I actually don't think you can you can argue with that. Is he retired from international football? Should we do the old trick and see if we can get a bit more? Let's negotiate that. Buffon rejects contracts, right, Maxime, yeah, we're going to try and get him in. I'm just thinking for the sake of it. 
you, uh, Zambros has got a new contract. That's really. Oh my god, they actually have. They've done it. Right, I'm going to accept it, guys. He's going. Yeah, so we're trying to sort of think of what we can do with this gameplay with Rome at the moment. Um, I think it's going to be quite a hard one. Not really too sure what I can do. Uh, David is going. That's fine. My dog is just having a complete moment here now. Um, go. Um, right, let's have a little look then. Yeah, so Salas and Amoruso. Let's swap them over. There does seem to be like a genuine fitness worry with these players. Especially the strikers. Okay. Um, the thing is, the board aren't going to be happy if I get beat here as well. This is the other problem that we've got. <laughs> and they have some class players. I know that the Torino game is, is next, but it's going to be like... It's like two weeks away. Del Piero isn't doing it. I've got him on free kicks. Let me just check that I've got the um, settings right here. Yeah, yeah, he's on there. Yeah, he's all there. Oh, God. Right, I'm going to bring Salas on. I'm going to take Trezeguet off. It's like for like. Oh, that's a killer. That is a killer. That's why, for me, in my opinion, Roma are the best team on this game. I do. I think I think they're absolutely quality. Um, I think we've got to buy, to be honest with you. I think we've got to look at someone now. Um, it's difficult. I've had a few people saying about strikers and things like that. They'll get upset. I actually think that we need attack, good attacking midfielders. Um, obviously, got Seydorf. I mean, but he's Inter. The problem is, you want, you kind of want some that are in the Spanish league more than anything. You look at these Spain here. Um, like Kili, Kili Gonzalez is a good player, actually. I might actually put in a bid for him. Let's just test the waters with Kili. He's not too bad. As far as he's thirty, though. It's, 20, it's not bad, 23. There are some decent players, Steve McManaman. What a legend he is. Uh, Guti. De Nielsen is a good player. Muntis actually is as well. He actually is a good player, De Nielsen. I think we're going to sort of... I think we've got to sort of try and see this out. I'm going to bring Maxime in because actually I, I don't really think... Trezeguet has what it takes, to be honest with you. I think he just seems really tired all the time. Um, so I'm going to have a little look at him. Alan Smith, young player. He's on my radar. They want Vieri. Right. We've just got to offer him a load of money, haven't we? That, that's how it works, isn't it? Get him in. There we go. Hopefully the work permit. I don't know if there is a work permit with this one, actually. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. It's just done. Perfect. Yeah, Hanson was another one. Oh, God, he's very happy. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll offer him some money. You know, we'll see how it goes. He was another one because I wanted another left back as well, just in case. Where is he? Um, this guy sort of was struggling a bit. Because by the looks of things, there seems to be quite a few people who are struggling at the moment. I, I am actually thinking of playing Maxime. I, I do. I think that he needs to play. I'm going to put another bid for him. I'm going to see what I can do here. I think we'll go with cash straight up to 11 million. And then we'll have to have a little think about maybe doing add-ons and things like that afterwards. And seeing how we get on. Rejected again. Right, okay, hang on. So if I say, if I give you... See if that works. <laughs> Surely that won't work. Boban, I'm surprised they bought him. 32 years old. 
I always try and get rid of him when I'm at AC Milan. Okay, yeah, he's agreed to come to us in the end, so that's not too bad. Again, he, he's it's a rotation player. I think that he's a defensive and he's an attacking mid. So hopefully we'll get something good from him. Uh, there's no rules to this this um, this series, by the way, guys. So I know last time from a West Ham one, I was saying there's no legends allowed. I'm just thinking because we are talking about the trickiest league, in my opinion, in the game. I feel like I need every chance that I can to actually win this league, especially when you see the likes of Roma just absolutely nailing us, uh, hands down. Um, so I'm thinking, right, so Nedved is back. Right, take Zioni off, get Nedved in. Bench. Um, I'm going to play Maxime. I am, I'm just going to play him. Nedved left, Conte right. Right, let's see what this is like now. I mean, I know it's not Roma at home, it's Torino at home, so if, if we do win, it's it's no major upset or anything. It, it's nothing that we shouldn't be doing, but I just want to see how or if the team sort of gels together with Maxime. Yeah, Nedved with the goal. See, the thing is, getting beat to Roma makes these games even more important in the future. 69,000 again. We've just got to be in and around it, haven't we? This is the problem. Come on. That's still 1-0 just isn't healthy, is it? It's not a healthy lead. There we go. Maxime with his debut goal as well. The legend that he is, is doing it for me already. That's what we want to see. There we go. Right, let's think about taking a few players off now then. Who's tired? Oh, my days. Right, Conte. Let's get Hansen on. Davids is tired. Fabio O'Neill. Oh. And... I'm going to take Del Piero off even though Maxime's tired I want to keep him on for the full game Yeah, decent result. I'm happy with that. I think we've done all right. Happy at Dar a derby. Despite. I didn't even realise that was a derby, to be honest with you. Uh, six in the league. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please remember to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.